Today, a news conference calling for action after the release of the audit. In that report, we learned HPD audited 231 narcotics cases and found a total of 404 errors. The audit focusing on the lack of supervision, especially involving fired officers Gerald Goines and Stephen Bryant and their cases from January of 2016 through January of 2019. Goins and Bryant were fired after the Harding Street raid where Dennis Tuttle and Regina Nicholas were killed. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez live outside that home on Harding Street, the site of this morning's news conference. Kathy, good morning. Good morning. Local lawmakers are now just wrapping up that press conference. They have raised many concerns surrounding the HPD audit into the narcotics division. Harding Street is not where the corruption in the Houston Police Department Narcotics Division started, but we're hopeful that this is where it will end. Yesterday, we learned that the corruption was not limited to just a few officers, and definitely not one officers, but it was possibly the entire division. It's been a year and a half since the botched Harding Street raid that left Regina Nicholas and Dennis Tuttle dead. Yesterday, Houston police released results of their internal audit. It shows more than 400 errors in 200 cases involving former officer Gerald Goins and Stephen Bryant. Representative Wu says the audit leaves out many details, including who's responsible for the deadly raid. Also yesterday, District Attorney Kim Ogg announced six Houston police officers, including Goins, Bryant, and their supervisor are facing 15 criminal felony charges. The officers are accused of falsifying government documents, mismanaging payouts to confidential informants, and stealing unearned overtime. The DA's office now is reviewing thousands of cases. Some will say that this scheme is just mismanagement. It is not. It is long-running evidence of graft and corruption that can literally rot an institution from the inside out. And Representative Wu plans to introduce a legislation next ses session. He says it would prevent government agencies from hiding documents and audits. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.